Yo guys, I'm Rich. Welcome back to the channel. You saw the title. This video is gonna be my top five free MacBook apps that I found that works best for productivity and efficiency. So with that being said, all of these apps I've chose have at least a four star and above rating on the app store. So, you know, don't fret that I'm choosing some weird, you know, apps I'm giving to you guys just to make the video longer. The best part about this video, every app that I chose is free. So why not give them all a try? You got nothing to lose. With that being said, let's get right into it. The first app on the list is Be Focus. It's a simple Pomodoro timer app on the top menu bar that really, really helps me and a lot of my other friends I've recommended it to stay on task. All you have to do is go to the top menu bar, set a timer to work on anything you wanna get finished, press start, and then the timer will start counting down to however many minutes or hours you set it to. I can even put a little title up there too, for instance, uh, statistics homework. It's easy, it's great, I use it all the time when I'm studying for school or writing scripts for YouTube videos. I don't waste a minute more. And really all the app does is get me on my to finish stuff on time. I work better under pressure. The next app on the list, which is something I really can't live without and I download on every Mac machine, is Alfred. In short, it's an app launcher, but think of Alfred like a spotlight search, but supercharged. All you gotta do is press option and space down at the same time, and then you can literally search for anything at your fingertips. For example, let's say uh, you wanna search something on your Mac, maybe you wanna buy a, um, a pair of Crocs, okay? Simply press option and command to search up Crocs and it'll take you straight to that on the Amazon link. That's pretty impressive. You know, it saves me time uh, without having to click on this link to that link and then type it up and you know, whatnot. It'll take me straight there. Alfred's free version has a lot of essentials, but you can definitely buy the power pack, which costs a little bit more. Uh, this allows you to really take full control of Alfred. I don't have this personally, but my friend has a power pack version and you can search up literally everything from your clipboard. So files, photos, everything in your computer as well to your contacts. I mean, it really makes everything so much faster and cuts off all this unnecessary time to find stuff on your Mac. The next app on the list, which totally helps me from not forgetting all my passwords to so many different websites nowadays, is Bitwarden. Now, this isn't unique just to Mac, you know, this is also available on Windows too. Bitwarden is a password manager. This service uses an encrypted vault to store all your passwords protected by a single long master password. You know, this is great, especially in this day and age where we have all these accounts and emails we have to remember. It's nice to keep them all organized in a central location too. Each time I create a new account for something, maybe a new gaming account for this website, an email newsletter, to more important stuff like my bank account, I simply copy the username and password onto a new Bitwarden sheet, and then I can keep a handy book of login information whenever I need it. You can add links to them, there's also two-factor authentication, and much more. Best of all, it's open source. Bitwarden is trusted by business enterprises and professionals throughout the world. If you don't believe me, go take a look for yourself. The next app on the list is CCleaner. Now, CCleaner has been around for a very long time now, almost two decades. It's a well-known name in the cleaning software industry, having made PC apps for many years, and now the company has one of the best Mac cleaning apps you'll find too, for free. CCleaner offers a cleaning tool that analyzes your Mac storage to hunt out cache files, browser cookies, and other junks. It scans both system and third-party applications. Aside from cleaning junk files, CCleaner also offers other performance optimizations to instantly free up some memory on your Mac. For example, you can use the startup tool to change your Mac startup programs and optimize your Mac startup speed. The built-in duplicate finder will also help free up extra space by removing duplicate files located in similar or different folders in your Mac. Now, I do want to caution that with these cleaning apps, App softwares on these Macs, they're not all perfect. CCleaner does a really good job at picking out the best junk files that you need to get out of your Mac, but at the end of the day, you should always back up your files just to stay safe regardless of whatever app you're using. CCleaner has done a really great job for me. I have no problems with it whatsoever, having used it on Windows for many years and on Mac. So that's just something to keep in mind. The next app on the list is Rectangle. Okay, so this is probably my most used tool in the Mac yet. If you're coming from a Windows user, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with snapping windows on either side of the screen. For some reason, Mac doesn't really make it that easy. It's a little bit of a hassle, but you can do it. Well, Rectangle is a free app. You can download it in like a couple seconds. It has these shortcuts where you can literally just switch and move windows from one side of the screen to the other. All you gotta do is press Control Option and press one of the arrow keys to move it wherever. This is super, super useful if I'm writing documents or doing homework where I'll need two windows open simultaneously. I really recommend you guys download this now. Um, funny thing is I'm practically using it as I speak uh, to have my script on one side of the screen. So yeah, I mean, I'm using it in action. Now, an honorable mention is an app called 
amphetamine. Now, I know the name gets kind of a bad rap. Honestly, you can't ask me why it's called that. Amphetamine's primary purpose is to allow users to keep their machines awake for a set amount of time using a series of tools not available through Mac OS alone. Through regular use, your Mac goes to sleep automatically after a period of inactivity. However, there are times when you might not want your computer to sleep. For example, when there's a big download or a lengthy compile or render, maybe you're working from home and all you need to do is keep the PC active. It brings up an icon here in the menu bar and you can set it here indefinitely to keep your Mac awake. Choose to allow the display to sleep or not. You can also set up a custom time limit if you want to go to a certain number of hours. You can even set a time limit to turn it off at a specific time or you can set it to run while a certain app or a certain file is downloading. There's a lot of ways you can use this app. It's free, again. I personally use this app a lot, especially for um, you know posting YouTube videos because my upload speed is horrendously slow here. I'll just let Infenamine run its time while uploading the videos and you know, I get to carry on without having to worry if my MacBook going to sleep. Anyways, those are my top five favorite free Mac OS apps that really helped me with productivity and efficiency. Tell me what you guys think about this video and the apps I've mentioned down below. Are you gonna download some of these? Um, do you have some of these already? Uh, if you downloaded one of them, how are they helping you? You know, tell me, I wanna know what you guys think about these apps. But with that being said, uh, drop a like to help me out and hit that subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching guys. Until the next video, I'll see you then.